Thanks, Dunstall, for inviting me to say a few words for World Alzheimer's Month. I'm Jeremy Porteous, the founder and CEO of the Housing Learning Improvement Network, Housing Link for short. I'm also a member of the government's Older People's Housing Task Force. Originally established by the Department of Health to aid the delivery of the government's housing and care and telecare capital programs, the Housing Link has been independent of government now for over 10 years and is well known amongst its 24,000 strong professional membership for driving improvement through knowledge exchange and sector leadership and championing a better range of innovative housing and technology enabled care solutions for an aging population. And as captured by Lord Best's APPG inquiry reports on Happy Inspired Design and the Dunhill Medical Trust funded TAPI project, both recognise the centrality of designing homes, neighbourhoods, systems and services inclusively, including for people living with dementia. Another APPG inquiry report, Housing for People with Dementia, Are We Ready?, highlights that while a considerable amount has been achieved to create dementially friendly homes and communities, more can and should be done to fill the gaps in the way we plan, design and build both our new mainstream housing and specialist housing for older people, such as retirement or extra care accommodation, but also retrofit and improve the quality of our existing stock to better accommodate people with dementia and make best use of technology, aids and equipment in people's homes. With September World Alzheimer's Month in mind, technology can improve and complement the effectiveness of support systems for the person. For example, the use of mainstream devices, the internet, telephone and or mobile technology can help if it's adopted early and is being used increasingly by people living with dementia to support daily living and maintain social connection. Now, from a design perspective, it is essential to build in from the outset future adaptability and modifications which are dementia ready and can also incorporate devices and equipment, including digitally enabled technology, telecare and or smart sensors. Furthermore, in relation to the digital switchover, ensure broadband connectivity so as to avoid people with dementia experiencing confusion or digital exclusion. These points and other recommendations by the APGPG are something that the government's recently appointed Older People's Housing Task Force will be focusing on in, in its deliberations. We therefore welcome contributions from Tunstall and partners submitting examples where technology is positively enabling people with dementia to live more independently. We have a call to action to make the world a better place for people living with Alzheimer's.